Okay, here's take two, John at the White House. So what's going on here today, John? Well, uh, a number of the Occupy members came out here to show our solidarity and support of the Syrian uh, struggle for freedom. There are probably about a thousand people here, easily a thousand people here protesting the brutal, dastardly destruction of the Syrian people by the Assad regime. Uh, we're totally against this regime. We believe, or I believe, that some type of action needs to be taken against this brutal dictator. He is not a normal person. No normal person takes tanks and armies and destroys his own cities and his own people. Um, that's just absolutely not tolerable. Um, I know that there are some disagreements about how we should support the Syrians, but they're human beings, first and foremost, and any human being that's being persecuted and destroyed like that needs to be supported and defended. If they're not able to defend themselves, somebody in the, in the international community needs to do that for them. Uh, we have thousands of American Syrians here, or I should say Syrian Americans that are here Let's protesting turn around today. so we can see all the people here. Yeah, there are, there, are, there are thousands of people here. They're spread all throughout the park here in front of the lighthouse. They've been here for several hours now. We've been recording some of their statements. A lot of the things they're saying are the same things that Occupy says, and they've been going through this struggle. Today is their anniversary, St. Patrick's Day, March 17th. They began their protest, which was the same day, by the way, that Occupy Wall Street began its protest. So we have a lot of commonalities and parallels between us and the Syrian people. Again, what's happening in, in cities like Homs and Saad, Damascus, is not tolerable. Even if you disagree with uh, the political structure, you cannot disagree with uh, standing up against that. That's why we're here today. There's about 20 of us from Freedom Square and, and uh, McPherson Square that are supporting our folks here. There are many, many millennium, many young people that are here. I would say, on balance, mostly women and children here. Uh, there are some baby boomers here, but it's incredible the number of children that are here, and that's what this is about. This is about the children of Syria and their future. If you read some of the news feeds about what's happened in, in, in homes and how they disfigured some of those children, what they did to them, I, I, there are no words to describe the outrage that I feel about it. I hope that other people will support this. And the Syrians need to be given freedom and liberation. You know, they, that's how this country started, by protests, by people who fought and spilled blood. It's worth it for us, it's definitely worth it for them. So, we're going to be here for another hour supporting them. Um, let's hope that this brutal dictator is taken out of power.